Can you believe it's almost December and the tomato plant is still alive? Except the tomatoes aren't changing. They look exactly the same as last week. These tomatoes are orange. They're not turning red. And there's still a ton of green tomatoes. The sun is not even reaching the tomato plant anymore and it's not maturing at all. I'll give this plant another week and see if the tomatoes grow, but I'm not too optimistic about it. Still have a few of these rattlesnake beans, and it looks like there's still a few that might come in the next couple of weeks. And so I'll take advantage of that. These rattlesnake beans are pretty tasty, and they look pretty good. So they have been very faithful all this time, growing two full crops in the summer and in the fall. There are the remains of the bush beans that we grew as a class. I chopped them down, all gone for the season. Here is the bucket of Swiss chard that I chopped down two weeks ago. You can see it's growing back, but very, very slowly. And this Swiss chard in the blue bucket is also growing very slowly, but it still looks really good. And while it looks good, I am gonna just cut all the rest of it down and eat it now because it would be a shame to have all of this good Swiss chard and it starts spoiling, going rotten because the season is too late. Here is the lettuce and the lettuce, I got a lot of this last week and I'm gonna give it a break this week. I'm just gonna let it grow a little more. You can see the red ruby lettuce is growing back very nicely. Here's the kale. I'm also gonna give it a break. I'm not gonna cut any kale down this week. I'll give it one more week to grow and um, that way it will be a little bit bigger when I do cut it next week. And anyway, I already bought some other leafy green vegetables at the store that I should probably eat first and let this sit for later. Take a look at the mystery pot. This is the pot where I sprinkled a bunch of random seeds and just let them grow out of control. Next week, you'll get to see what is growing in that pot. Not very many vegetables to harvest this last week of November. Here's a big bowl of Swiss chard and just a handful of rattlesnake beans.